So this particular cake, Carolyn, is a, um, it's an upside down chandelier cake. So it's literally hanging. It's, uh, we don't use a tabletop stand for it. Um, it's, it's assembled in reverse of a traditional wedding cake. So your larger tier would be on top as opposed to on the bottom. How many hours do you put into this? From the baking stage to the actual delivering and uh, setting up this cake, it's about eight to 10 hours. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start with our dry ingredients first. I generally put all of my dry ingredients into one bowl. They most times go in at the same time anyway, and I don't like doing dishes. When I'm baking a really thick cake or anything that's larger than 10 inches in diameter, I like to use what's called a heating core. It draws the heat to the center of the cake and it, it bakes the cake in probably half the time that it would without it. And we're gonna put that right in the middle of the rack. Cakes you wanna bake on a lower temperature for a little longer. Right. These guys are gonna go in for about a half an hour to 45 minutes on a lower temperature. And it just allows all of those chemicals that we put in there just kinda get together and have a little party and then do what they do best. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We get to make the icing. We're going to tort these layers. Torting is just a, basically a process of taking it from one large cake to several thinner layers. I'm just gonna turn my cake on my knife. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Once we have our fillings made, we're going to make a product that's called chocolate ganache. It's a combination of a semi-sweet chocolate and a heavy cream. Give it a stir. Okay, so another thing that I usually uh, do with my cakes is I like to treat them with a, uh, with a treatment that's called simple syrup. The simple syrup basically protects the cake from the inside from drying out, so that cake is gonna stay moist for hours and hours and, and days even. And we're gonna take some of our filling here. This particular cake has a product on it, it's called a cake lace, and it's, a, it's an edible product that when made actually looks like fabric. This particular tier is gonna have a lattice effect and we're gonna put some silver beads in the intersections. For this cake we're using another method of decorating. Um, it's actually a stenciling method and we're gonna be putting a, a, a black damask pattern around the sides of it. You're preparing something that is at the center of attention and something that all eyes are on it. And you have a little piece of your art in someone's memories for the rest of their lives and the most important day of their life. And you know it's gonna get eaten. And a lot of people actually say to me, it's too nice to cut. And I'm like, well, no, you have to cut it. That's why I make it, for you to eat it. Um, otherwise, I would work with clay and, and canvas. <laughs> okay.